Welcome back. Well, the Florence Sylvester Senior Center always has plenty of things going on, and Amay Roberts is here to tell us all about it. Well, welcome back. How are you? I'm doing well. Thanks. Thanks for having me. It's You're good welcome. To see you. and, and of course, we're talking off camera. The last time I saw you, we were drinking wine. Yes, we were. <laughs> and this was actually something everyone can participate in. It was a wine tasting class that you have over there, and we'll we'll talk about that in just a bit. But. I really like the fact that you've got a couple of things that uh, you have going on and of course volunteers are always needed for so many things and, and you guys are certainly needing that so tell me about that. Well we couldn't do anything that we do without our volunteers so we really work on a skeleton staff of amazing people but the people that make it happen are our volunteers right. and that is in every area and with all of the clients that we serve. Mm -hmm. So right now, we really need Meals on Wheels drivers. Okay. Um, so that can be someone who does it once a week. You could do it every day of the week. You could share the route with a friend. Um, you know, do it uh, function back and forth throughout the month, um, whatever you'd like. But we really need Meals on Wheels drivers okay. um, for multiple reasons. But one, we have a lot of people going away for the summer. We mm. have uh, just some very different needs. We also need substitutes, so if you're okay hanging out and you get a random call, would you drive a route and deliver to six homes? Okay. That would be super helpful. Well, how, how um, far in advance, if you had a substitute, would that be someone that would like wake up that morning and be sick, or how does, how does that usually work? That can happen, but most of our Meals on Wheels drivers, they let us know just as soon as possible, so okay. it's usually you know a good 24 hours oh, okay, beforehand, good. but it does happen that okay. the morning of we'll get a call okay. um, for whatever reason, we and need help. What are the time of days that you deliver? So the meals, they arrive at our place usually around 10 o'clock, give or take, and we deliver from 11 to 12, 10.30 to 12. Okay. So it's late morning. Oh, okay. And it's okay. right around the Florence Center, so you're not driving too far. Yeah. Um, and it's usually six to eight um, homes that you're delivering oh, to. Oh, not too bad. No. Okay, yeah. okay. I mean, of course, you open the door and they probably want to chit chat, so you're gonna have to, you know, <laughs> Say, okay, thank you, but I got another one, you know, another delivery, right? That's because right. everyone's so sweet. Yes. It becomes like, it, it's a part of their day right. to wait for the Meals on Wheels. And, you know, a lot of our regular drivers, it's a big part of their day, too, you know, yeah. to kind of check in on people and yes. make sure everything's okay. Right, and bring a smile to their face. <laughs> I think that's great. Um, now, of course, if someone does want to volunteer, they should call the Florence Sylvester Senior Center number, and that is 3800155, right? That's right. Okay, perfect. So yes. they can do that. Perfect. Good. Anything else we need to know about that? Um, well, we also are looking for a few volunteers for our in-person lunches. Um, okay. And those would be people that are plating the food in the back, and that would be from about 10.30 to 12.30. Mm -hmm. um, and we also need people to actually take the food from the window to the table. Okay. So, and the same number, just call and say you'd like to come in for uh, the in-person meals. Okay. Oh, good, good. Well, hopefully we'll get some folks out there if you guys have some extra time. Yeah. You know, call them up and, and come on over. So, that's awesome. Yes. All right, good. <laughs> hopefully we'll get some folks. So, loss of a loved one. We've talked about this with... Um, our mortuary folks and uh, you know it's it's a tough thing and I, I think it's something that definitely needs to be addressed so tell me about the is it a class or is it a meeting or what is it so we um, have partnered um, there's a, a group within Saddleback Church uh, that is running a grief share program nice. and the first one is only for um, the loss of a spouse um, and then the proceeding, or I mean, the, the Tuesdays after that for 13 weeks, it's a workshop. Okay. Um, you can come to any of them, but we really encourage people to start at the beginning and go all the way through because it is a small, intimate group, and you do form bonds and trust, yeah. and, you know, it can be a little unsettling to come in in session six when people have already shared, you know, these very intimate and you know really pivotal times in people's lives so right. um, we're really hoping especially at this time after we've gone through covid and um, it's just really needed in our community so we're hoping we can help some people and okay. they can you know help each other when does that start again so it starts at the end of this month okay um, i believe the 24th is the uh, spousal loss session okay and then 
is it would it be the 30th that the 13 week workshop oh, 13 begins. weeks okay yes all right and is there any cost to that so um, we are not charging for the workshop at all however you do need to buy the workbook um, if someone finds that they are not able to afford it, I believe it's $20, okay. um, Saddleback will help you out with that. Okay. So just okay. let us know. Now this isn't part, oh, so this is Saddleback Church, right? Someone within the church here of Laguna Woods is doing that. It is. Okay, gotcha. Yes. Okay, great, great. And then, of course, if anyone wants information, they can always contact you at the uh, senior That's center. That's right. And it isn't okay. um, it isn't something Saddleback has designed. This is a, a nationally known program oh, okay. um, where they are trained and um in lots of aspects of grief and grief share and support. Right, right. Yeah. Well, that's a good program. Yes. Okay, now we're going to get to uh, what we talked about before is your wine tasting class. And yes. you were a sommelier at one point in your life, yes. and uh, you know a lot about wine. So tell me about the wine class. So we started last month, and what we do is we pick a varietal, and then we compare them from around the world. So last, last month we did Pinots. This month is a little funny. We're doing rosés, kind of, you know, Ooh, spring, summer. I like rosés. Um, so that should be fun, to, and we're tasting them again from all over the world with five different rosés. Okay. Um, next month we're doing Sauvignon Blanc. July we're doing uh, Red Blends. I think it will be Bordeaux Blends. Nice. Um, so, yeah, it was really successful. We actually had people show up that didn't have reservations, and um, we weren't able to accommodate them. So mm -hmm. I highly encourage you. Um, we did have a couple cancellations yesterday morning Okay. Um, to call in right away and get your spot because there are two or three spots I haven't been in yet today okay. um, that are available. So call and make your reservation. And I, I got to tell you, I went, I went last time and just to see what it was about, and everyone was having such a good time. I mean, how could you not? You know, you have wine and you have friends and they sat in tables of like 10, right? So everybody was all around and they were just having such a good time. They really were. And it's a really small pour, but after one or two tastes, everyone's well, a friend at like the table. Well, it looked like a lot. Yeah, like, <laughs> yes. like six glasses in, each, in front of each one. It was really beautiful. Yeah. And this time we're actually doing pairings as well. Oh, good. Um, yes, yeah, so with some cheeses and um, some little charcuterie. So, mm -hmm. um, yeah, that's what they voted on. That's what they wanted to do, and so I like it. Now, is it the same it. time as last time? It is. It's at three o'clock this Friday. Okay. Um, oh, usually, this Friday. it will be the first oh, Friday right of the away. month, but hmm. this one because of Mother's Day. Oh, we right, right, it. right. Okay. Yeah. Well, awesome. Well, get in on that as soon as possible, folks, because uh, you know I'm going to take a spot if you don't. <laughs> <laughs> We'd love to have you. <laughs> oh, that was funny when I showed up. Uh, is there going to be anyone else there? Like I know last time you had a sponsor. Were there any sponsors coming this time? Um, so Kaiser Permanente okay. has sponsored this. Um, I believe it's either for a year or a year and a half. Oh, okay. Um, so they'll be there. Um, they set up their table um, and they're there to answer any questions. Okay. But they just thought this would be a fun way to show up here in the oh, community. Oh, well, they do. And and yeah. you know, it's, it's it's always Ellie, and she's so wonderful that she'll have lots of great information for everybody. So. Yeah. All right. Perfect. Good. Okay. Uh, focusing on the brain. What are we doing there? So this is a class, it's brain exercises, and it's exactly what it sounds like. Um, before COVID, this was something that we did at Florence every week. Mm -hmm. um, now this is kind of a one-off workshop, and I'm hoping that if we get a big enough response, we'll be able to convince Allison to come back. Oh, good. But it's just all kinds of brain exercises. It's deduction, memory, um, and all the ways that she plays with that. It kind of gets your brain, the synapses functioning in different ways. So, um, good. yeah, it seems to be a popular class. So but call and sign up. It's very important yeah. to sign up. Yeah, well, you know, we have a Fit Brain Club here in uh, Laguna Woods, and uh, that's always a, a topic of discussion. And uh, Alzheimer's Club really supports that, too. So that's a, that's a great, great idea. Uh, okay, then everyone's favorite, bingo. Yes. B-I-N-G-O. I know I say it every time, but it's serious and it's a lot of fun. They really love it. <laughs> yes. So we do have our weekly bingo, and that is on Thursdays okay. every week. Um, but we are doing a summer bingo bash. Uh, we were able to do this last fall, but on a really limited scale because okay. we couldn't put very many people inside of our ballroom. Okay. Um, so we do not have those limitations this time. Um, it is $100 payout per game. Dang. And it's dinner, and it's a catered dinner. It's two drink tickets, so sodas, waters, wine, beer, um, and it is a $45 buy-in. But that's for all the games? That's for all the games. Each game, you get four cards, so really it's wow. 48 cards, dinner, 
drinks. You can't beat that. That's a heck of a and fun And it'll be time. really fun. And you're doing yeah. a great thing. You know, it's a fundraiser for exactly. Florence. And, I love um, that. It'll be a great night. So fun, you know. It's just, you know what? You should be like the first person that <clears throat> anyone who wants to live here talks to. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> because you'd be like, oh, but of course, you don't have to live here. But nonetheless, everyone know will know all the great things you guys do. So okay. thank you so much. Uh, good luck. Uh, I might just see you this Friday. Oh, we'd love that. I think so. All right, thank, <laughs> thank you. you. And of course, if you want any information about all the activities that we are doing at the Florence Sylvester Senior Center, you can contact them at 949-380-0155. We'll be right back.